All right, everyone. 7:20 morning. Got my blower here. Got a couple batteries here. Um, first yard. We're gonna do a small yard. Test it out. Bunch of pine straw on the yard. Maybe I have to show y'all up a little closer. I want to. Uh, I want to do the timer on my phone. And uh, bunch of pine straw. I have to show you when we get close. But I want to. I want to do the stopwatch on my phone and see how long these batteries last. I'm probably not going to use the turbo mode, but I probably will use high mode. And uh, just because I want to see what we can get out of it. It's 30 degrees this morning, got coveralls. We're at the first yard, but we can't really, you know, 720. It's probably a little early to run that 8010, you know what I mean? <laughs> Which I'll have to use the rest of the day. But um, so we're going to start out with this one or with the, the new cobalt. At least give it a shot. This will be the first time I ever even pulling the trigger on it so I'm gonna get this trailer turned around and uh show you some footage y'all check this out there's the echo 8010 next to this you see that elbow and the elbow's big coming out of the 8010 man that's what I was trying to show you guys I mean it's big all right first time batteries are going in gotta push it push it down I think it's got a little lever right here I guess it's maybe that's how you release them there you go just gotta give them a good firm push I like that I'm gonna go ahead and put both batteries in just because there we go cool all right first test I'm gonna blow off this back little patio here Pretty quiet, has a lot of pretty a lot of power too. Um well, some of these leaves over there to that woods. Wait, let me start my start my timer. So we're one minute into this thing. Let me start it. works really good um, I'm gonna go up here see I'll blow, I'll, you know I'm gonna end up blowing all this stuff but I'm trying to see some good footage to show you guys if you look at this uh, there's like a bunch of uh kind of thick pine straw fall on the street and everything maybe i'll try to get some footage below that all right guys so i end up doing way more work than what i actually show you on video because you know it lasted longer than i thought it would i never used the boost mode but i always you know ran it full throttle most of the time and uh you know this yard not very bad i'll explain all that in a minute but I wind up going on Lowe's.com and buying two more of the 4 amp hour batteries. They don't have the 6 amp hour ones. And even the kits are starting to become unavailable. So I bought two more of the 4 amp hour batteries. Um, so they'll be coming and actually found, you know, and I'll be requiring more chargers and stuff too. I bought one on Facebook, uh, a charger. So I'll explain more in a minute. Now look at this pine straw, it's pretty deep. This yard is real small overall and uh not nearly as deep as a lot of my yards but I still have battery walking over to this part so i'm gonna keep going 
so yeah i acquired a couple more batteries and um i got a uh there was someone that was selling a, a charger just like the one that comes with it on facebook i guess the, the, it was a lady she said she didn't have the cobalt tools anymore and so she's getting rid of that charger um so that order hasn't processed yet you know it's kind of a little weird buying things on facebook it's not like i go and pick it up it's like you buy it and they're going to ship it to you um so that's not finalized yet but so i got hopefully now two chargers and six batteries four four amp hours and two six amp hour and so six batteries should be all i need for this blower for the next three years that's my plan um you know and that and those six batteries will all be covered under warranty for the next three years. So my plan is to run, just run these six batteries for the next three years, acquire a couple more chargers, and, you know, call it good. Because I just really like the blower. I love how it has the battery gauge right there on your trigger. It's so light compared to the Ryobi and others competition. I mean, I just, I like the blower. All right, guys. It was actually 3116. I just had to get it, you know, reach and get, get in my coveralls and get it out and stuff. It was 3116. Pretty sweet. So this is how you release when you press this little thing. It pops up. Pretty cool. And you just pull it out. All right, guys. Got done with that yard. Pick up the pine cones, all the stuff. Uh, so, a quick wrap up on the blower i like it i got as you see 31 minutes and something runtime um you know and it even even after it shut off you know when i was walking back up it'll let me blow more because the one battery still shows one bar but um yeah so but i that's actually really good in my opinion pretty good runtime because i basically went all the way around the house blew off that road um and again this yard all my other yards today will be like foot deep in leaves, you know, but this one, you know, I figure it's a good yard to test this type of blower because it's a small yard and, um, you know, we can use it for blowing it off. And so, um, I love it. It's great. The lady didn't even know I was out there. Picked up pine cones, um, you know, did all the stuff and, uh, and we're good to go. Um, so I love it. It's not going to, you know. It, it's i think it's going to do exactly what i want to do it's not going to be like okay you buy this blower and you do leaf cleanups all day no it's not it's not for the, it's not for that it's not for that you know you get about you get that 30 minutes of runtime on high mode uh, with no boost with those two batteries which with the six amp hour batteries i don't know maybe i could get more more than that but that's what i was thinking if you got 30 minutes there um you know, during the growing season when you're blowing off the driveway and stuff, if you can make sure you mow, you know, and if there's a clump or anything, mow it over again with the mower. If you could do that, um, you know, and that saves on the blowing, uh, you know, if you had two sets of batteries, think about an hour or a day of a solid running of the blower, that might, might be all you need. Um, I don't know, though. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I might incorporate that and my handheld blower that was kind of my plan and uh but so far i love it it's really quiet um i mean it's even quieter i think than my milwaukee handheld blower so you know power is decent on the milwaukee too it's probably a little bit more on here it's going to be way more with the turbo mode but um but again i blew off that whole yard some of it didn't even show y'all went all the way around back you know and blew more of those leaves from in those trees and stuff and blew off the street and you know uh you wouldn't really want to blow for 32 minutes with that handheld blower in your hand solid you know what i'm saying um like you could i mean i have plenty of times but it's wouldn't be comfortable this was comfortable to do that it's very lightweight um all that stuff anyway i need to get to moving because it's uh thanksgiving in a couple of days and so i'm trying to get like everyone's yard blowed off you know before the holiday so it's crazy you know still got more with still mulching a lot of stuff you know doing all the things mulching where i need to but um just depending on how the beds look you know i'm trying to do you know do as quick as possible so i can try to get to you know five days of worth of customers want to be done before thanksgiving you know what i mean so kind of going going around crazy i'm still going to probably have to go out 
you know, for another full day after the, you know, Friday or Saturday. But anyway, things are good. So anyway, guys, the wrap up of it. Um, sorry, I'm just doing this while I'm editing it right now. Wrap up of it is I did end up acquiring a couple more batteries just tonight. I just ordered them on Lowe's.com because I just really like the blower and I couldn't get a hold of another kit. Um, but that that's fine. It's fine. Um, and so the overall summary, I love the blower, love how it has a fuel gauge, love how light it is. Um, like really like the design of it, um, all that stuff. So I'm looking forward to using it in the growing season. You won't see it much on my channel during leaf season because, you know, like I said, it's not really made for that. Um, but I'm thinking blowing off driveways, you know, it's going to be pretty sweet. I got to keep those batteries nice and cool. The summer, just like I do with my Milwaukee ones, that's the key to that runtime. That's the key to the runtime during the summer. You got to keep those batteries cool. Got to keep them in a cooler or something. Got to keep that temperature low on them, and they'll give you good runtime. So, that's that. I reply to all my comments on my channel. Thanks to all the new people that join my channel every day. And, um, and for all the people that, you know, you guys that have been around watching my channel for five plus years. So let's keep it moving.